Oh! Slams Ken down! Today we're going to be taking an IQ test to figure out which one of us has the highest IQ. Oh my god. Ken! Whoa! That's yeah, not true. really how a guy with a knee injury runs either. <laughs> <laughs> he did 170. What? Just, I mean, allegedly did 170. Yeah. Huge shout out to DraftKings for sponsoring today's podcast this week. New customers can bet just $5 on college football and score $200 in bonus bets instantly. So you might as well get in on the action. And are you ready for this one, guys? Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort. 21 plus age varies by restriction void in ontario cdkng.co slash football for eligibility terms and responsible gambling resources bonus bets expire seven days after issuance eligibility and deposit restrictions apply <sighs> welcome back to the life wide open podcast mike what the hell's going on with your face well uh there was a little hiatus with the jake podcast hope you guys enjoyed that i shaved my face as i said i would didn't do it to the to the grain or whatever <laughs> this is crazy wood. I hate it. I haven't I, seen yeah. your face in I don't know how long. I'm not like, going to lie, Mike. I don't think I like <laughs> it either. Dog. Mike, this is <laughs> what I'm saying. Oh, right, your right. neck and your chin almost look like the same yeah, thing. Every, well, just wait till I do this. Everybody get a good look at this because, well, you'll probably see me do the podcast. But no, get a good look at this. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's straight. I think you know it, what's crazy is I didn't think that you even I'm like a, put on any weight. I didn't. I've always had this. I'm a relatively skinny fella. It's weird because as soon as we started talking about the podcast, started getting the ads for the the Jawser sizer and yeah, started getting yeah, TikToks yeah. about you, you like suck on your tongue and then it brings this up. Really? And then everyone's like, that's what all the models do on the red carpet and stuff. So, so you can work really? out your face? I thought they just did neat. Yeah. Yeah. And I just like, I guess I knew that, but yeah, you could work out your face. Huh. Get rid of it. Wow. Suck on your tongue to the roof of your mouth and it brings this up and then it makes you look like so for pictures it makes sense, honestly. Mm. But doing it all the time. It doesn't seem pain. to help me when I suck my tongue. Like it doesn't lift it up. Well, I think there's so only know, so much sucking you there's can do. There's only so much <laughs> sucking you can do. Like at the end of the day, you might just be fat. Oh. Oh. I'm not saying you. But just in general? I'm just saying in general. I, yeah. I don't it's know. It's something I deal with every day too, CJ. Exactly. I, I'm like, I don't know. I think you might have been better off going just full clean. I don't know if like this like three oh, o'clock yeah. shadow is really the move. Yeah. I no, I agree. Mike looks like. You know, I <laughs> look like a shaved you know cat, looks like The consensus is exactly how I expected. I mean, I look weird. Has Sydney seen it yet? No. You think she's going to like it? No. I don't think anyone's going to like it. <laughs> I don't think anyone. You know what's nice though, Mike? is you can grow out your facial hair Pretty and then you just fast. don't have to deal with this. I <laughs> can. cannot. And yeah. it's something that I just have to deal with for the rest of, well, for the foreseeable future. I don't know. Like, do it's people just all of a sudden start growing facial hair? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've heard of like you can like derma roll it. Dude, I tried that port. shit. Yeah, really. But I also gave up on it. I don't I'd stick. Like, I, I, like it, it, I didn't see immediate results, so I was like, "Fuck this thing." It <laughs> didn't grow in the next morning. Cool, I but, think you you can. I just can't imagine you with oh, beard. Oh, so that's no. kind of what I'm getting at. It's mostly, I'd say, for me, it's let's say it's half the surprise. It's like you see it, and half the reaction is like the surprise. Then you're like, "No, nah, it doesn't look good." Now picture Ben walking in with a beard, just like Ryan's or mine. One, I think you'd look good. I, I don't think it'd on, be on the bad side of the spectrum, but half of it would be like, whoa! It's not like it would just come in overnight like I would like. But let's just say it did. Yeah, with the I see beard. what you're we'd, saying. The we'd be like, change. whoa! Oh, there's got to be some filter. Yeah, like, let's see what I look like with a beard. Yeah, we'll, we'll I pop think you'd that. Just pop look up older. a picture. I think you'd look older. But you yeah. know, like it's like when your favorite actor or whatever, he's uh, never had a beard, and then in like some show or movie, he, he has a beard. With a you're kind of just like... Whoa, he looks so yeah. different. Yeah, so same vibe, but just like uh, I, I won't be looking for any compliments. You kind of oh, look good. like the. <laughs> I'm gonna start wearing a mask again. <laughs> you kind of look like a caterpillar. <laughs> I was thinking, that. you know, the little pink mole rat in uh, Kim Possible. Yeah, yeah. The, the <laughs> <pink> mole rat. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Uh, well, I'll take caterpillar. At least it'll turn into a beautiful butterfly in about two weeks. <laughs> yeah, you when know? you grow your how long do you think it's gonna take? Not long. Like a week? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like a week to be back to normal. Oh, that's that's not bad at all, then. There's got to be some kind of remedy to, like, help it. For the people out there, maybe that have done something, right? I think fish oils maybe help 
like with your hair growth. Yeah, how's that going for you? CJ? No, I mean, I'm saying like it helps it grow faster. But then again, I don't know if it would like make your hair grow if you don't have any. Wait, how funny would that be if like you start taking um pills or treatments or fish oil for your hair and you you Start keep drawing. losing hair but you just grow a fat beard <laughs> his eyebrows come in more <laughs> <laughs> or you just get nasty back hair or something like ryan that. you were supposed to shave your beard and so was ken what? ken Ken. Both you two. I would love to see those two. Ken, shave it. Do it on the you podcast right now. You guys said you would. This is kind of fucked up, man. Uh, we don't have any manscapes here. I, I'll go. Uh, yeah, we do. We, I'm pretty sure we have one right here. No, those are no, all No, Ken, those I actually those have two. Trimmers. I have two in my, in my office. We got to hit Ken with the- I have the, two in my office. We got to hit Ken Brand with the new. Norelco. Get that close, close. Those are all nose trimmers. That's fine. We can we use that. No, Ken, that. we have one in-, in I have two brand new no, ones for both of you. No, yeah, we don't. I want to see this. No, go we don't. Right under my desk. Well, we can, oh, hey, man. we can string this out. No, next, I want to see this shit. next podcast. I know we got we got a lot of good stuff for you guys today. Maybe we save it for next time. That's yeah. kind of what I mean. But you could, guys aren't off the hook. I think you got to like Mike did it only because of all the things. Ken. Whoa. He's break it. No, but like he ran off like he, he was like, gonna. <laughs> you can break it. as. I mean, we'll just get another one. That's yeah, not true. really how a guy with a knee injury runs either. Yeah, He's pretty nimble know. right He's been there. Pretty nimble <laughs> lately. Pop up the video of him throwing the garbage, <laughs> <laughs> trying to throw the garbage into the garbage can. Dude, look like a ballerina yeah, out yeah, here. Nice Man, we, that was we all did. the comments, dude. Like, like after posting it on Instagram, everyone was just like, "Pretty nimble for a guy <laughs> with a knee brace on." Man, we did so much stu- fun, fun stuff last week and this weekend, and that was my favorite clip. Ken yeeting the garbage <laughs> yeah. all over the yard. Yeah, it was funny. Right behind the one of him falling on the Hayabusa. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Evan yeah, literally put his over. life on the line to keep that thing up when he was coming out of that burnout. And then Ken, two minutes later, hops on it and just kicks it forward and falls. I, I just can't believe you thought the kickstand was going to hold you as you were like laying across I, it. I thought it was a lot more stable than it was. <laughs> Yeah, no, in your defense, I did the same. I didn't drop it, but, like, the thing's super heavy, and I, like, just rolled it forward enough, kickstand pops up, and it goes over. I mean, it, dude, it felt like picking up a whale. Yeah, it's, like, the biggest freaking crotch rocket. And the, and to believe that thing's a 2008, it looks like it's, like, a 1998. I don't think yeah, they've changed anything since then. Though. I think it's probably for aerodynamics because that thing can go 200 miles per hour from the factory. Yeah, that's exactly what Evan needed. Yeah, more power. I yeah, know, the dude, fastest was a problem. He worries me because the guy, he's like, yep, when I bought it, the guy said he hit 202 or 205. Yeah, because it's slightly and modified. I'm just like, ah, dude, well, how could you ever? like? And then he's like, oh, I, I want to have that on my resume. No. He, he did just, 170. What? Just, I mean, allegedly did 170. <laughs> yeah, I, was I like, watched it. He blew past me because I was riding a Papio and like the wind and damn near knocked me over because of the wind as it was. <laughs> That's oh crazy. Gosh. Dude, I have no desire to go that fast. Yeah, no, I don't even either. want to ride a motorcycle. He was, like, I just don't trust mostly, same. mostly like others, th- other people or just like the uh, environment around you. A deer could run out. A raccoon, yeah, a squirrel could <laughs> run out. Like literally anything. If he, CJ hasn't driven down the road and moved the turtles off of it. You yeah, know, exactly. You hit oh, a yeah. turtle. Well, he was saying <laughs> uh, allegedly when he was going that fast, he was wearing... Like just some normal, like his motocross helmet, oh, and yeah, he had normal goggles. goggles. And he said his goggles, glasses, like the lens pushed through. Yeah, yeah and like the foam was like <laughs> no, like the lens fucking popped through. Oh my gosh! I guess the they don't uh, test them at that type of speed. Dude, that is ju- that is just stupid. So so stupid. He did it in a very. It was like one seventy back to zero. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, it, I didn't even. I knew he was going fast, but yeah, one seventy. Yeah, I mean, at least on Allegedly. the Hayabusa, he wears a helmet. I mean, we, I know we've talked about this, but, like, dude, it's getting bad, you guys. No, no. He, like, it's he's getting like, bad. He's like a resentful kid, <laughs> like, just trying to rebel against his parents anytime I ask him to just wear a helmet. Because I'm like, bro, I care too much about you to not tell you to wear a helmet for, like, riding your dirt bike down, like, the road. And I'm like, bro, just put on a helmet. You look equally as cool. And he's like, no, I don't. I look so stupid. It's not cool. I don't want to post a picture, a video of me on the gram doing a helmet or uh, doing a wheelie wearing a helmet. Everyone's going to think I'm lame. I'm like, no, they're not. Look at the comments of of doing it without a helmet on. And everyone in the comments is like, 
Put a helmet on. No, put a helmet on. No, the I'm worst. Like, bro, but, hey, hey, you're hey, a hey. national treasure. No. <laughs> the last yeah. thing we need is to be sweeping you off the fucking pavement <laughs> because you thought you would look cooler without a helmet. No, the unfortunate part is not everyone in the comments is saying that. I would say about sixty percent are saying put on a helmet. That's still a and lot then, of comments. And then the other com, yeah, yeah, for sure, majority. Then the other comments are like. Uh, Evan doesn't need helmets. Helmets need him. Like all hyping him up, and I'm like, dude, this isn't a five stare at the skate park that you're trying to kickflip. Don't wear a helmet. Look cool. And he's he's basically oh, you, take, you, he's taking. See, this is the problem. It's like like uh, bad parent, cool parent here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, he's taking the skateboarding, BMX, skiing aspect of it. Like you can get away. BMXers with, wear helmets. Yeah, most most do. But uh, well, yeah, maybe BMX is a bad example. But in skateboarding, it is considered lame to wear a helmet. He's taking that. I think to, he's taking it from life. like the bike life of the streets, well, like too. in Philly yeah. and Baltimore, yeah. Florida, where like you got these gangs of people riding these dirt bikes that have never touched the dirt before in its life, uh, just doing wheelies because they not. I don't. They don't wear helmets either, which I think maybe just because they. Some of them wear the. Some of them wear the little popio helmet that we have, which I think those look cool. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. Spencer, uh, the really good dirt biker, he competes and we were watching x games where they were skateboarding and they're doing this like 20 foot drop and everybody's falling and all this stuff and i go why don't skateboarders wear helmets it it's literally weird. the only action sport left that people don't wear helmets people wear helmets for everything other than skateboarding right i mean like they, you know they wear it on through? invert but yeah. yeah i think in street invert. skate the idea of it is like yeah. it's just like part of the culture yeah like in street Looking skate cool. you're just actually riding and they're trying to emulate that like you're just riding wherever you're going and you're doing stuff but i, I agree it, it is not a, worth it, it i'm sure eventually uh it probably will change but, but yeah yeah i mean and at the end of the day we can't tell you what to do but like why not wear just your helmet, wear a kids. helmet <laughs> and but, also helmets are cool yeah i think that's the other like thing too cool. is, is I, like i know how many people probably look up to evan and yeah, like not yeah, say yeah. like and i tell them that i'm just like Bro, I think a lot of people like look at you as like a inspiration, and then obviously that yeah. but that's a slippery slope. Just guess, tell Evan anything, but. to wear a helmet. <laughs> if he, if he posts a video of him not wearing a helmet, tell him to wear a helmet because uh, the kid needs it. Needs a little yeah. good kid needs a little guidance. <laughs> Have you been doing CJ with your concussion? Um, I'm getting better. I'd say I've you got a concussion. Doing, I mean, I've been like dealing with symptoms, yeah, since like getting freaking t boned in the golf cart. Okay. Uh, which, I mean, I'm getting better. Feel the best today than I've felt in a long time. Good. Uh, we haven't we haven't talked at all about, I guess, at post that, right? Well, we, we we did a little bit, and this is right after it happened, and you were kind of like, yeah, it was crazy. Like I landed on Ken, I was fine, and then, um, you know, it just no, I, Ken I, landed I, on him. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like, but, I don't even but, really know what happened. It just happened really but fast. Yeah. At the time, you were like. Thank goodness, I, I think I'm fine. And then yeah, as I thought time I went was, on, but yeah, I just wasn't. Yeah. Just progressively so got yeah, worse. Yeah, just been feeling like shit, but getting better. Been doing the hyperbaric chamber, just levitating your and, ass off, uh, trying to work out and do my typical things to make it feel better or make myself feel better. Is the hyperbaric like the only thing that you notice helps you? Mm, it's I definitely. I mean, at this point, it's been like almost two months. I started like two weeks ago. And I'd say it definitely, like, has made the most improvement, which is weird because, like, I mean, not weird, but I've been trying a lot of stuff. Right. And, and what, know. it just puts more oxygen in your... Yeah, it's just more like, like, when you get in a hyperbaric chamber, um, it's like this pressurized tube and it's, like, really, like, you're locked in that thing. But it's, like, clear and they have a person there that can, like, watch you and hear you. It's almost like you're in a submarine and you're like going down the ocean. Obviously, the pressure gets more, but you're not actually going down. They just like turn up the pressure. Oh, interesting. And then and then there's like oxygen in there, so like your ears keep like you have to keep going like, and like popping uh -huh. your ears and stuff. But it's but, not like in a plane where you're going no up because then there's there's less, less oxygen. Yeah, so it's like going down. But oh, you're just sitting there. But yeah, they're pumping it in, so it's like a hundred percent oxygen in there. Whereas like I'm pretty sure if you're walking around out in like open, just you know in the world. Uh, it's like 21%. So you're getting more oxygen and then I'm not entirely sure what the pressure does, but yeah, they do like three different stops. Like you go like, I don't know exactly how far down you can feel the pressure. Then you go another one and you can feel it increase and you go to not like the third one. I bet the oxygen level in the shops, like terrible. 11. Yeah. <laughs> dude. I've been trying to like open it up. Cause like f between all the vehicles running in here and the fumes and shit, yeah. so bad for us to be breathing in. Yeah. 
yeah, my office is in like the way back, actually right behind the wall behind CJ and Ryan right now. No airflow through. Really? You, I mean, your air conditioner, CJ's office is probably the best with the know, air conditioner. I, we'll have an air purifier yeah, in helps. there. And anytime I'm in there, I'll, I'll just turn it on. But like mm-hmm. that thing is constantly just working. Yeah. I was a little bit, I mean, I wasn't actually, I wasn't skeptical, but anyway, took the, took the air filter out of uh, my air purifier in my office. Honestly, wasn't that dirty, you know, wasn't ready to replace. Mm-hmm. Went and took the one out of Evan's room. Yeah. <laughs> and keep in mind, he's on, the, he's on the lower level, more dirt, more dust, more fumes. Him. This is, this is true. Him. <laughs> Dude, I, I might've taken a picture of it. Like it was six times as dusty and dirty than mine. Wow. Like it just, I went, oh, this one's ready for a replacement a month ago. So I was just like, at least it's working. How does yours work in the back office, Ken? I replace it every month. Really? And it mm-hmm. like when you replace it, Flex! it's dirty? It, yeah, it's like black. Oh, Damn. see, that's why I'm. That's why I was surprised. I run mine. I try to run it a lot. Anyway, it, it wasn't bad. I was well, like, mine. Right. Mine is all just like the lint from the t-shirts. Oh, oh true. back there in the merch bay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I did check that one. Yeah, that one gets a lot of dust on it. Because you fold a t-shirt, yeah. you know, lint just goes in the air yeah. and then collects onto that thing. And it, it's like once a month I have to swap it out. Damn. No, it can, the dust bunnies back there are crazy. I mean, think when you have a new shirt and you just lint roll a brand new shirt. You know, you pull off like a full. Sticky sheet of that, and that that shit just dust bunnies everywhere. And I do thousands of them. Ken started naming them, I'm pretty sure. You got Fred, George, Jose. No women? <laughs> Jose, Jose Nita. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I, I crack works. up. Every time we have a merch drop, we'll have uh, people come in and help fold and ship everything out. I swear, every single time I walk back there, there's someone new, and half the time <laughs> I don't recognize like any of them. I do the same and, thing. And it's just silent. And Ken's just, yeah. oh, man, <laughs> the, yeah. I mean, like I walk, I walk in, I walk past, uh, just yeah, just the other day, a dude I've never ever seen in my <laughs> life, and then he goes, "Hey, Micah," I go, "What's up, buddy? Where are you finding these people?" I, I thought Craigslist? you knew that guy. No, not that. It was a different guy. And then I, yeah, I'll bring. I brought in a buddy that no one else had ever met, <laughs> and everyone's like, "You know him, right? Oh, you know him." But uh, they're good help. They're good help. It's great. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you'd be drowning in there. Yeah. But yeah, we, we get some good help. We just maybe don't all know them. <laughs> so you fellas feeling uh, smart today? Not usually. <laughs> I <laughs> am ne- <I> never. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you ask? <laughs> I feel sometimes I feel like a smart ass, but I never feel smart. <laughs> you are always, always a smart ass. ass. Yeah, 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 exactly. With that. Well, Ken, could you please bring in the laptops? I have a test for us today. Oh, no. Thank you. Holy, you just, Ken just walks up with holy crap, 16 grand worth of laptops. This laptop. one is yours on the top, I believe. <laughs> it's got a dent in it. That's mine. Okay, Mike, here you go. Benny. Yours. Oh, thank you. Nice. All right, I will uh, send you guys a link to the Mensa IQ test. Oh. Today we're going to be taking an IQ test to figure out which one of us has the highest IQ. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Should we, what are the, what are, it's like the cut, you know, they, they do like the YouTube videos, like rank people who you think is the smartest to dumbest. And then you take the test and then you re-rank them after the test. Oh my God. But anyway, yeah, we, we, we should, should have just, everyone comment down below who they think is going to, yeah. Wait, is, is the smartest to the dumbest? Yeah. Ken's doing it too. Oh, so all five of us. Yeah. What do you, who do you guys think it, it's tough to like rank one through five, but who do you think is going to be the smartest and who do you think is going to be the worst? I think... CJ is going to think that he's going to be the <laughs> smartest. I don't think that at all right now. But I think Ryan's going to be the smartest. Let's go. And I think Mike's going to be the worst. Or so, me. Or so me. Keep in could mind, be me. I think off. Ken's going to be the smartest. That's what I was thinking I too. too. Yeah, I, I, I got faith in Ken. Oh boy. When it comes to standardized testing, yeah, yeah. I think Ken will be the best. Hmm. You know, and I, then I think Ryan. I think Ken... Is almost too smart for his own good. It almost kind of sets him back a little bit. <laughs> Can't though, apply you know? it. Oh God! All right, dude. Let's let's do it. Gosh, I have that's such a terrible feeling about this. Now the world's just gonna know how smart I am. College football fans, are you ready for Week One this week? New customers can bet just five dollars on college football and score two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly with DraftKings. So you might want to get in on the action. Change comes fast. The only thing that's a lock is great offers from DraftKings Sportsbook, and I can't wait to use DraftKings Sportsbook this upcoming season. Life's more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Wide Open. New customers can score two hundred 
$100 in bonus bets instantly when they bet just $5 on college football, only on the DraftKings Sportsbook with code wide open. The crown is yours. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort. 21 plus, age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario, cdkng.co slash football for eligibility, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Bonus bets expire after seven days of issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. When you own your own business, you know that preparing for growth is one of the most important things that you guys can do, especially before the holiday season. Whether you're shipping from a house or a warehouse, ShipStation can help you increase your profitability and save time automating your shipping and returns with the ShipStation dashboard. And keep costs down with industry-leading carrier discounts while your orders roll in. Plus, they're offering up a free 60-day trial, so you might as well give it a shot. We love using ShipStation. We integrated it in our business a few years ago. We seriously could not fulfill all the orders we do without it. Ken relies on it so heavily. If you ordered from last merch shop, you got to experience the benefits firsthand. He gets the orders out as fast as possible, and ShipStation gives us industry-leading discounts to save us and then you guys money. If you have your own store, ShipStation offers effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. And ShipStation will help you manage orders, print labels, compare rates, optimize every shipment, and automate delivery notifications. It seriously, it does everything. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So set your business up for holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code wide open today to sign up for your free 60 day trial that shipstation.com promo code wide open how smart you are how dumb you are well yeah how little smart i am ben he's he's just little smart all right start test Dude, this is literally hurting my brain. <laughs> Dude, I, I want to throw up right now. <laughs> Do it, it'll make you feel better. Okay. I, had to, I might have just fucked up. I well, I had to guess on the last three. I got my results. <laughs> I don't know if it's yeah. I mean, alrighty. Uh, let's. I probably let's, got the worst. Hey, how should we reveal? How do we know. do it? I'm yeah. not very. I'm Maybe not to reveal. Can we? Can we cut this bit? <laughs> Ryan wants. To, can you imagine the like, Ryan, oh, you're, you're gar- joking, right? I guarantee I did worse. All right, I'll go first. All right, all right. Which I'm probably the worst. I got 102. Okay. Uh, okay. I got 102. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, hey, I'm trying not to react right now. Okay. Cause I know, because I don't want to give mine away, but. Your reaction 97? I got a 97. Okay. It was a high-stress environment. <laughs> I guessed on a bunch, which probably penalized yeah. mine. I would have been better off. I probably had like a 110. What'd you I, get, Mike? I got a 110. Whoa! No, no way! Yeah, Whoa. Mike. Whoa. way. Show me it. Let me see that. There ain't no Hold way. Hold on. Let me see it. Ken, what'd you get? Well, let me see it. I got 100. I'm pulling it up. Ken, I got... What? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No, no fucking way. way. Mike. Hey, I got a 102. So we, uh, uh, <laughs> wait, you what? guys got the worst no score? You got, no, Ryan got the worst score. No, no way. way. You're the only two with an actual college degree. Bro. Mike got a 110? <laughs> you guys are so lucky that I don't talk shit. Wow. Because, wow. you know, like, I I just, I'm not a rub it in your face type of fella. Dude, Mike got a 110? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> right, you got a 97. My parents <laughs> paid for private school, dude. They got to be fucking kicking themselves right now. Yo. I, how'd I do so bad? I'm honestly shocked. I am, I am, I am shocked, shocked by these results. <laughs> <laughs> I had this whole thing planned to be like, yeah, well, just because your IQ is lower doesn't mean you don't have creative smarts and stuff like that. Yeah, he Completely was trying to make- <laughs> blew it out of the water. 
Okay, so this is just at a first Google search. I go, what is an average IQ? In general, an IQ is defined with a median okay, of 100. Scores above, one, average? scores above 130 <laughs> are labeled as above average or very superior, while scores under 70 okay. be considered below average or labeled as borderline impaired. <laughs> Most people have an average IQ between 85 and 115. So like so you, you we're know, all you My, yeah, mine yeah. said uh, I'm in the 55 percentile. So I'm just Same. I'm I'm, I'm too smarter than average, which I'm s- stoked about. I guess I'm we're used above to just average. being slightly below average, dude. <laughs> I'm just painfully <laughs> average. Ken, what the frick, man? I I don't think we could have had literally the vice versa <laughs> flipped around. What was yours again, Ken? A hundred. You had a hundred? Yeah, right on the nuts. That, that is. Exactly average, 50th percentile. Dude, I literally said Ryan's the smartest and Mike's the the dumbest. No offense, Mike. I think the Mike, complete opposite. I think Mike did good because it's all shapes and all he does is design. <laughs> yeah, What's okay. that have to do with it? You're just I don't know, he stares at shapes. Honestly, I for for the record, I don't want to take another IQ test, but <laughs> but there are other Q, IQ tests that have nothing to do with shapes. There might be a few, but this one, like I said, is easy to uh to do and not be able to cheat on, but there's a ton where they're like legit, like uh, you know, word questions, whatever you call those in math. Uh. Dude, my body was like literally shaking. I was so anxious looking at the shapes. I felt so stupid. It's interesting that we got the same because we did the same on the ACT, like all that shit. Oh, like yeah, we're I very. Guess that's got to make you feel pretty bad. No. Yeah, what you guys- CJ's gonna t- do the old shower stare at the wall and just. I mean, I never thought I was smart. <laughs> we're the same What'd intelligence you- level. Me and that idiot. I did not like the <laughs> the AC. What you guys get on the ACT? Uh, like I didn't do super well. I think twenty two or yeah, twenty three. I, I can't. I think I got a twenty three. Twenty two. Yeah, I think mine was twenty three. Yeah, whatever that, Ben got. It, hey, got but that ish gets you into any college round here. So <laughs> I don't know. I think what I need frick, some man. moments to go self reflect. Right, I'm shocked, dude. I. It's man. a bummer too. You had faith in me. I really did. It's a bummer too because you're the one who came in like we're doing the IQ Ex- test today. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was. Uh, I I don't know. I don't even have any excuses. Um. Put the link to that IQ test yeah. down in the description of the video. And then if you guys have, what was 25 minutes? Yeah, if you yeah. guys have 25 minutes, go and take it and then comment your IQ. See if you're smarter than it's us. It's freaking hard, though. It's very hard. And you'll understand how confusing it is and how you'll wonder how this has anything to do with your intelligence level. But I guess, like you said, it, it is probably just problem solving. Here's my point on the whole thing. I don't think it really matters. I think that... Like, this is such a weird little niche thing. Like, doesn't really show how smart you are. I, although I'd like to think it does. It, uh, you know, you can be, like, smart in one category, you know, or also you don't have to be smart at all to be considered successful, you know. No, but it, I mean, it, and especially, like, I'm not saying that wasn't legit because you said it was an immense IQ test. Like, I just remember some IQ tests being, like, over 100 questions and just insane. And I think there is, like, you could actually go into a university and take an IQ test, which who would want to do that? But, and really get to the bottom of it, I still don't really think it. I'm just saying, like, yeah. you can be smart and yeah, there's so many I mean. different ways to, like, much. define how someone's smart. Like, someone who doesn't even know how to read could be considered very smart in a certain, like, category. And because of that, they could be much more successful than someone who is the best in yeah. like the the most book smart person or whatever you know yeah that's all i'm saying is like it doesn't really which i think that's uni- universally understood yeah you know? i don't i'm not i'm just saying i don't think your smartness de- determines how successful you are or it's at least like a score on something not at all Thank i goodness. mean look at little pump <laughs> yeah he's doing better than us <laughs> <laughs> i mean he's a he's like a multimillionaire. Yeah. i i thought that it was going to be questions that are like kind of supposed to trick you Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was I like what too. I thought. Maybe that's what I for. fell into. There is, yeah, there's, there's I was very tricked. I okay. I have a couple questions. A test fault, Ryan, not I, yours. I have a couple questions that <laughs> yeah. are like your traditional like IQ type uh, trick question. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see if you guys can answer. Okay. Which word in the dictionary is always spelled incorrectly? Incorrectly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. yeah, I like yeah, that. That's right. All right, give me another one. I'm Good feeling answer. better. Okay, now. all right, all right, all right. Let me let me find one. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain in the world? Mount Bachelor? Trivia. Wait, what what was the question? 
<laughs> Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain in the world? Still Mount Everest. So I, y- yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. He's <laughs> damn right. Uh, yeah, that was right. You're, 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 that was really good. You got the answers over there? No. no this is crazy. I, I keep forgetting that these are all trick questions. And, and when you curve your brain to think that way, like, you're killing it. Ryan's like, we took the wrong idea. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn. Can we take another one? Man. Tied for second as the smartest seaboy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That one's going to feel good. Um, right behind Mike. You should put that in your bio. Smartest sea smartest boy. boy. Smartest sea boy. Based on a 25 question. Statistically, the smartest sea <laughs> <Yeah. C> boy. <laughs> what gets bigger and bigger the more you take away from it? A negative number? This one's kind of stupid. Let me just find one more. What was the answer? A hole. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. I'm sorry. And how long is the answer to this question? Come on, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> the question is what's the question? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm fucking. <wrong. laughs> we're borderline incriminating ourselves on the internet. Not incriminating. I have no clue. We're... And how? What? And <laughs> how long is the answer to this question? And it's also way fun knowing the answer to the trick question. What's the answer to the question? I don't know. And how long is the answer oh, to this question? And how long? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Was, yeah, <laughs> Both of so these good. fucking tests are stupid. Man. We're strong. Well, that was All fun. Right. Yeah, that was a good time. Honestly, I feel pretty good about that. Second, I, I'm it. just glad I'm not the dumbest, honestly. Same. I, I hate to Same. hurt statistically. Look at Ken, dude. Ken, went in, Ken was silent. because From now was, on, whenever Ken or Ryan tries to tell us something, we're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they don't really know much. Shut up, dummy. Mike, what, what, what do you think, Mike? Yeah. We look at Mike yeah. like the like the... Know all. Whatever yeah. Mike says goes now from this point on. <laughs> I'll take it. We got to make we got to make Ev and Big Wrench take one just um for business purposes. I bet you so Big Wrench would be pretty good. I feel like he would be He'd probably too. the smartest the yeah. engineer Evan, in his yeah. brain. Yeah. Who knows at this rate he might be freaking in the 130. By the time this podcast is live we're going to have those two take it as well. <laughs> we'll put and then uh the top comment on this podcast will be their scores. Got it. <laughs> so Mike you you've been you just finally moved into your to your first house. I did. Yep. Your first own house. Yeah, first own house. Um, it uh, is in the city. Yeah. Uh, so that's different. That's new. I've been going back and forth to Fargo to see Sydney, and uh, you got forty five minute commute now. Yeah, which to, which we um, have talked about. I don't enjoy that commute very much. Um, but everyone else doesn't seem to mind it. I'm starting not to mind it, but uh, yeah, dude, it's. It's a. There's only one way to describe this house, and it's it's cute. It's adorable. Really, it's in a really nice. You gotta come see it. Were you worried at all that yeah. there was gonna be a prank when you walked in? <laughs> no, but we Man, did. I talked to a. Uh, I didn't dude, even think of that. I, I did, but hey. I was like, I'm not trying to really fuck with this well, house. And- I would have actually no. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, I just, I just figured he's had it done to him. If, yeah. But yeah. if there was but also like Sydney's ball pumped about, it, I don't yeah. want to just turn it into this fucking. Well, that's what I'm getting at. If there was a day house. to catch us most off guard, it would absolutely have been like the day we moved in or or today. But yeah, I'm not putting it past you guys. Maybe um, we'll do it later. But yeah, I met, uh, I met like. You know, handful neighbors. of neighbors. Oh, one wow. one guy, his name's Mike. He's super dope, super Sounds funny. About right? Is he smart too? <laughs> just, a, just, <laughs> a, just a big dude. He comes up wearing like the striped dickies overalls. He's got like gauges. He's wearing pit vipers, and he pulls up and like sounds a, like your kind of friend. Diesel, yeah. What and he's fuck? just like, yeah, dude. I grew up on this block. He went to Oak Grove. He knows your family. What the uh, fuck? Wendy's like, this is Mike. And then I was like, Mike who? what I Mike Hawk? He's uh he, he <laughs> <laughs> So his dad his dad was the one that taught, that like uh, taught Randy like everything, you know, when he was young. Oh. Like when Randy was twenty four, he was like like twelve. I don't know. Anyway, met him and he's like, So you guys aren't gonna be like filming here, are you? Like, I really enjoy your videos. I just don't think this is the neighborhood to uh, be causing any shenanigans. I mean, no one's gonna care about your loud cars or anything, but um, but yeah, you know, keep it civil. <laughs> we should go over there today. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say ride, just ride pit bikes or something. Oh, man. <laughs> it it really is crazy. The the neighborhood is full of like you know how there's a bunch of neighborhoods where you would not send your kid out 
um, on the bike on their bike by themselves. Like, but it's just kids crawling through the neighborhood. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy. <laughs> like they're, they're like you know, people are just out and about mowing lawns and and this and that. And there's just kids and they're just doing their own thing. But you never would really see like little kids just rolling around the block. And uh, we like did, drive did over. Check? We drive over to go like see Mike one day, and he's out on his bike riding around with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like a ramp rigged up in this like driveway. None of the other parents would let him do it there, but he's like, "We could do it in my house, guys." Yeah, yeah. Dude, Dude comes over. <laughs> Mike moves in. They send Mike Hawk over. <laughs> Mike Hawk to yeah. like kind of give him like a shakedown, and like all the kids are like pretend like when they drive by Mike's place, they're like. Ah! And as soon as they're on the other side, they're like, what'd you see? What'd you, what kind of intel you got here? And there's like this whole Sting like operation. ecosystem going on, like yeah. that Mike doesn't know about. That they're I can like, see it happening. Mike, what'd you get? Did you tell him not to pull any of those shenanigans, any yeah. of those videos here? We should bring fireworks over tonight. Oh, man. That'd be but, awesome. Yeah, Firework party at Mike's. <laughs> so that guy really told you like, don't be pulling any shenanigans no, but, in my neighborhood. Yeah, but. Definitely not in that tone, and like obviously he didn't say he didn't say those words, but it was like the friendliest you could possibly be. Like the dude was like, "Dude, if you need anything, just like call me. If you want to meet any of the neighbors on the block, just let me know. Like I know everyone. I really he's kind of the guy. Yeah, yeah I was he like, was he's like the, the guy. guy. But yeah, he was like, he's driving a Cummins, and he's like, oh, you got you still got your WRX? And uh, I'm like, yep. And he's like, yeah, I had one too. Uh, and then he's just like, yeah, I figured it was gonna blow up, so I sold it. Oh, I was mean, it, you're was it right. Was it silver or blue? No. And, and did we happen to buy it? It did <laughs> blow up within three minutes. But my favorite thing, basically, when we were like, first thing we pull in, this this little girl's on the the uh, deck, just like, we, I share a drive it, which in my opinion is super annoying. Like one cement driveway for both houses. Really? And then you kind of pull off, which I, yeah, I just, I think that's going to be an issue. Well, I mean, at least they can snow blow it. Yeah, true. We can kind of <laughs> go hand in hand. But uh, anyway, the little girl goes, are you guys the new neighbors? She's like seven. And we're like, yep, yeah, we're the new neighbors. Um, she's like, I'm Maya. And then points to her dog. This is Joey. And I'm like, oh, nice to meet you. How long have you guys lived here? Not very long. And then she comes riding her bike up as we're unloading. And she goes with her friend. These are the new neighbors. I already forgot their names. <laughs> But anyway, I was like, yeah, people seem pretty friendly around. <laughs> Sounds like a happening place, dude. Sounds like a happening yeah. place. Yeah. Was, dude. God but damn. Then her and her dad like brought over some Skittles and a candle and a flower. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Shit. My yeah. kids, Skittles, that kind of flower. They didn't give us shit when we went yeah. over to our place. You should do a wine night at your house oh, and invite all, all the, the neighbors. neighbors. And then yes. trash your place. And yes. Them. We'll like, get like, really drunk and just be like, <laughs> break the table. Come out wearing all white and just like. <laughs> like as you're walking out the just door, be just be like, it. "Let's Stone get Cold this party Austin. going!" Yeah. It will. Oh man, how? I mean, it would probably be one of the most legendary prank videos we've ever done. If the, you know, if cameras all over inside, yeah, and then just turns out Mike out bought this house all just for Stone, one video. Stone bit. Cold Steve Austin wine glasses and everything. But yeah, yeah, they would look at this guy and go, "Man, he really is smart. He's <laughs> always working a play on something." <laughs> But it's Mike. That did go I don't through know my, what he's up to. He's one of the smartest C boys. That went through my he's head. He's actually the smartest C boy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm watching right now, but obviously he's it's, got a he plan. Knows he's something doing. insanely smart and creative. And if Mike's calculated, doing it, and if it dialed. looks dumb, it's just because it's above your yeah. intelligence yeah. level. You know, it's just like so I'm gonna play that card. No, I I, I know nothing. Uh, going back to the IQ test, I know nothing's gonna change. We're all gonna treat each other exactly how we did before, with. Some jokes that is, but man, I don't know. Like, if I'm ever gonna to be able to? Look, yeah, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to look at Ryan the same. I'm I'll not gonna honest, lie. Dude. Every time I think about opening my mouth, I go, maybe I'm too <laughs> stupid to open my mouth. <laughs> Ryan, you uh, you might be too stupid to talk to. That is the worst. You you want to know the worst part about dumb people? They don't know they're dumb. <laughs> Literally, they're well, too now dumb they, to I know. Just now they do. Self-aware, dude. <laughs> you like want a monkey who saw himself in the mirror. You want to know about the best part about the line Ben just said? That you're literally too stupid to talk to. Is that is a real quote spoken by the great Ken Matthews. What was the context of that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was when like him and Jake were wrestling or something, and you were trying to like call. Oh him down. no 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 no! This yeah. is a great story. Actually, this is an amazing story. It was right when we started making videos, so we started getting a couple followers, but like not nothing much, nothing much, right? But we had a couple followers on Snapchat, right? And uh, <gasps> and Jake, Jake took oh, Ken's fuck. phone and he posted a picture of his package, 
on Ken's story. Uh, an ab- oh, an ab- oh, he was, was like an, stretching. It was it an out. abstract. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was stretching and he posted it on Ken's story, right? <laughs> what a and then, savage move. Yeah, it was extremely savage, savage, right? Didn't he like put a caption like, what's up? <laughs> Hold on, I'm just have a screen grab. It was very juvenile of him, but how could you not laugh? It was so, so funny. funny and then so he does I was that. In tears. He does that, right? And then he comes out the bathroom and Ken like takes his phone back and like sees what's going on and Ken starts like malfunctioning. Like he started like <laughs> malfunctioning, my mom's on Snapchat. not knowing what to do. He was like, hey, hey, Jack, that's on my story. That's on my story. And and I have just it like, all on video, guys. Well, well, why don't you just delete it then if you're so worked up? But his fingers weren't working because he's so mad. <laughs> Hot. No, and he, my, and he my, locked himself out of his Snapchat. No, so he I tried. Had to, <laughs> that you you missed a whole lot. I <laughs> I deleted it. But back then, snaps like wouldn't delete off the story right away. So I had to delete my Snapchat account to get it to go away. But it stayed up on his story. It stayed up on his story. Sup, dude? Yeah, the caption was sup, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was screaming out. This is what it was on his story. <laughs> And we, up, dudes. And, and, and I like, got videos of it though, right here. Like, Ken, just delete it. Just delete it. And he goes, I have my mom on Snapchat. And we're like, well, just. She probably won't see it. It's 11 o'clock. And she goes, she's, she's at Zorba's. She's out to it, eat right now. It was 6 o'clock. You guys we, were on we, Snapchat. We were out to eat, weren't we? No, we were, we were, we were at Ben's video basement. Right here. And so, Classic. so Ken was fucking pissed. But Jake whoops his ass. Can we put this up on? Oh, my gosh. We got to put this up on the TV once you get your GoPro going again. You want to know what's funny is I was filming all this. And I was like, this is going to be a great video bit. And then I was like, no, you can't put that on the internet. I wasn't going to put his dick on there. And I thought just the context of it was hilarious. And now it's yeah, coming out. It's probably going to shut off again. So he posted on his story. Ken starts malfunctioning, trying to delete it. He has to delete his Snapchat. It's still up on his story. No, what happened was he deleted his story, but it didn't delete off his story so it showed it was delete on his phone but then we'd like go and like still up (laughs) freak out so he deletes his whole snapchat but then it was still up so then he was just like didn't have a snapchat didn't have anything and it was just still up like the one time that snapchat decides to glitch is when he's got a dick pic on his story saying sup dudes while this is all going down though (laughs) and it's no face so everyone thinks it's his ken is freaking out i was living living living. yeah still one of the most mad i've ever seen ken but I, I, in a very reasonable tone, go, Ken, why don't you take a picture of Jake and say to everyone that just saw that story, that was Jake Sherbrooke. Yeah. I am so sorry. We got the and video And then right post here. that secondly, and he literally, like, steaming out the ears, red face, stares at me in the eyes and goes, Ben, you are literally too stupid to even talk to right now. <laughs> And then storms out. I was like, okay, I thought it was a good idea. And then after that, we were like, that that was the funniest thing Ken's ever said. And then for the next seven years to this day, we're still saying you are literally too stupid to even talk to right now. Okay, I gotta pull this video. You did up. not. That was not the tone you said. <laughs> you, well, we, you always, we got the video. Here, you always. Yeah, there we go. We'll pull up the video. We got it. <laughs> No, no, go to the other one. The other one, sorry. This, that, was second. that was second. You got to go to the first one where you guys initially are wrestling. Hey, turn it up, too. Turn it up, turn it up. Turn it up, so don't burn it. <laughs> yep, so that's the first one. You guys start fighting. I pull my phone out. It's fine. You guys are mad, but Jake gets kind of mad. <laughs> oh! Slams Ken down! Oh, oh my gosh! God. Not only did Ken. Oh, <laughs> Ken's got a dick on his throat, but now he's getting his ass kicked. Dude, he's gonna break his throat. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my god! That actually hurt like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ken, no! It gets he better. You can't know. <laughs> no, Ken, go, go back. It Good, goes, come on. You actually start pulling it back together after that. It does straighten out for you. You get revenge. I'm sorry. Hugging. Oh. Oh! <laughs> that was like Dude, a WWE oh! move right there. Hammer fist. <laughs> it didn't even post. It didn't post. Ken, my parents are sleeping. Ken, my parents are sleeping. What he gets? We got the so merch. Jake took here. Ken's phone and he took a picture of his dick and put it on his Snapchat story. <laughs> Ken checking him is still there. <laughs> hey, Ken, if anything, you're gonna have a bunch of girls yeah. get you up now. <laughs> Why did you delete it? You let it post? You fucking posted it. <laughs> you haven't deleted it yet. I did. Oh. 
<laughs> Wait, so it's still up? Did people see it? Jake's an idiot. Yeah. People <laughs> see it. I just wanted the. It's too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you took his phone and went in the bathroom. Oh yeah, we still don't know what he did it with that oh, thing in there. Put a picture of his dick up now, dude. That's okay. It doesn't make me mad. How sweaty Jake was. Difference. I don't care. <laughs> Can can I at least see it for the video? <laughs> All right, go to the next one. Yeah, that's the one. So you come out, and then you're saying like, "Jake, my mom." Yeah, my mom. <laughs> oh, she's been to deal theft. <laughs> Jake, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my god, my mom is so pissed at me right now. Get up in the loft. Those are like dogs. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming this whole thing, babe. Yeah. Don't do that, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now go to the next one. You then you show his phone. All right, he shows his phone. I love this too that we're just in Ben's parents' basement, just causing it's like raucous. midnight, dude. Yeah. It's like midnight, I think. <clears throat> so now Jake shows. Wait, what are people responding? None of them are. I want them to just to see. So yeah, you so sent a picture. What happened here? Ken t then took Jake's phone. Took a dick pic and sent it to like five girls. Oh, Jake, CJ, that was like 30. <laughs> 30 <girls>. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's even. Yeah, Jake, I'm getting more. Dead. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. Hilarious, dude. Put up a story and be like, it was this kid. Yeah, and then <laughs> finally came to your senses for that. This versus him. Why? People are just. Put me on your story. I can say it now. Put me on your story. Oh my god. Put me on your story. Okay. This idiot fucking stole my phone. Beat his ass on camera. <laughs> you have no idea how legendary that is. You don't want to know it's not you. You know how much of a fucking idiot you are, dude? My parents, my fucking aunt and uncle follow me on fucking Snapchat. <laughs> yeah, do you know where they fucking are right now? They're at Zorba. <laughs> Why is that funny? I, I don't know. Yeah, they the, on Snapchat? Snapchat? <laughs> Siege, let's go ride. <laughs> Jake goes, Siege, let's go ride. <laughs> yeah, right now, midnight, let's go ride. <laughs> Tape. This is yeah, definitely we're, we're like 30. This is lost tape. I'm Ken the porn star. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually a fucking idiot. Like, like I, I'm seriously so fucking pissed at you right now. Don't fucking do that. We already did. The silence. That's it. That's it. Dude, I mean, in defense, in Ken's defense, I would probably be, be be pretty fucking upset too. I don't really know how I'd handle the whole thing. And obviously hindsight's twenty twenty. It's hard to watch a video of yourself, you know, eight, five years ago. What did what did Jake say in there though? When we're thirty, this is gonna be hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Ken's almost thirty now. It's fucking it, funny. It's dude. still not funny. <laughs> It was hilarious at the time. I had tears in my eyes, man. All right, but I got to say something. As, as far as... Um, it's like eight years ago. I remember as it happened, and I, I still feel the same way about it now. Like, I, the, the dick pic thing was hilarious and mean. I love how... Here's, here's where I started feeling really bad, was when Ken, you know, starts, like, fucking shoving him, shoving Jake, and then Jake's like... All right, dude, if, if we're going to, like, do this, like, I'm going to I'm gonna pull my moves. Dude, just like that, that's when I... When Jake just bodies him to the ground, I'm like, all right. I mean, you know, like, no, got to pour into yeah. the stick two times. Yeah. Like, you didn't do shit. You don't have to fight him. Like, no, like nothing actually happened. And that's when I felt really bad was, like, when Jake starts putting you in an arm bar. And I was like, <laughs> dude, you yeah. just tortured the guy on social media, and now you're torturing <laughs> him in real life. Him up. Dude, yeah, when that he was put him in that arm bar, he should have just taken a beating because he did it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I thought he was going to break his arm for a second. It looked like I think it I even like say, it. I think he's going to break his arm. I don't think I was there that night, but man, that got chaotic. How many friend, like how many people you, you think you had back then? But the problem was, is then it was all people mm -hmm. you knew. He had active mm -hmm. people it, replying. Just why? Everyone on your Snapchat back then was like your yeah, actual cool friends, friends and people you see every day. <laughs> what What's up, you, dude? Hold on, hold Dick on. Fucking story. 
What's up, dudes? That's the shit that only happens back then. Nobody does that anymore because now life's too too cut and dry. You can't get away with shit like that. I don't know, man. I wouldn't be surprised if Jake still did that. I remember Ken was really mad <laughs> after that, and rightfully so. And then he went to Zorba's, and then uh, I went over to Zorba's and bought him like the biggest Corona they had is like this giant (laughs) thing. Cause I was like trying to like, just call like, I mean, I really didn't do shit. I was just filming it (laughs) after it already happened, but I felt bad. So I was like, God, I just got to do something to cheer this guy up. And I like got him and he was like, Oh, thanks, dude. (laughs) Like really appreciate it. Didn't you walk into Zorba's and everyone like was like clapping or like saying something about it though? Like where did it travel that fast? Oh, I mean, everyone has seen it. All 15 people we know. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. Yeah, dude. The cur- the sup, the- dudes. <laughs> just a picture of a dick. Yeah, you just look at on back then when Snapchat wasn't even like a commercialized thing. It was just it's like just a, yeah, it was just communication. Thing. Yeah, I I mean, well, I definitely won't incriminate the guy, but I have like pro- yeah, probably ten other videos and scenarios of Jake doing equally savage, if not more savage things. And <laughs> I mean, that's I definitely what I mean. won't incriminate I, the guy as we just aired it. No, no, I, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I don't want to tell anything. Like, hey, use say your, the guy's name. <laughs> use your He's imagination. He's way smarter than us, though. <laughs> but, dude, I mean, just some of the stuff. And I, you guys heard it last week, like... Um, you know, he's a changed man, but he was like, ain't give a care about anything as long as it's for a good laugh. And, but I'm not calling him a dick. Like all the, all the stuff was like just dudes being savage and funny. I think I, if he would have done that to me, I don't think I would have gotten as hot about it. Well, I would have been laughing. Not. I probably would have been like, what, that but, was him. And then we, that was it. Well, what have we ever done? Like, to, I thought what have we ever done to Ken that? you would get as hot about like literally nothing yeah yeah it, it, so, I mean, it's all it's just different different yeah. time back Dif- when Ken different was more of a pokes hothead. you know different pokes <laughs> there, there gets Awaken to be a point where bears. a lot of pokes get to be a lot of pokes and they kind of yeah and there, you had to deal with a lot of pokes back then to be yeah. fair that was kind of the first like public poke maybe jake was a bully would you say that you were more of a victim Whoa. of this bully? And I thought I was incriminating. <laughs> they clipped that. Jake Sherbrooke was a bully. Jake Sherbrooke used to bully Ken. And it's just you saying, maybe Jake was a bully. <laughs> it's just a clip of him putting him in an arm bar. That was <laughs> physically that was and heavy, mentally. That was a heavy arm bar. I'm not going to lie. Ken, would you rather have the world... No. <laughs> would you rather... <laughs> would you rather have the world know that you're a vapist... And your face on a billboard, or one of your friends. How about neither? Posted DP nothing? on your story. How about neither? <laughs> no, you have to pick. No, you have ne- to pick n- either there's one. There's always a third option. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me think. Um, there's always a fourth <laughs> option now. Dude, I I talked to uh, a classmate of Ken's at Zorba's the other day, and, and kind of mine too, great right above me. But uh, he spoke very highly of you. Yeah, he's a great he, kid. And and it was like, he's like, yeah, dude, my, the people in my grade were dicks. They weren't very nice to him. I've watched the channel since kind of the beginning, and the dude's flourishing, and I really enjoy it because I've always thought he was really nice and a good soul, and it was like pretty refreshing to hear, which he's not the only one to say that. The comments have taken thing. a yeah, turn. Yeah, exactly. And uh, my favorite thing is when you're smiling in a video, which lately has been like every video, you know, like wine night. Uh, yeah. Wet bike, every like all kinds of stuff. Peep, dude, the amount of comments that I are agree. like, oh, so good to see Ken it's smiling. Like it's just most like, commented thing is it's like yeah. always you if you scroll through the comments, it's about Evan or Ken. Yeah, 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 and they're all positive. Yeah, or yeah, if people are name dropping, it's like like Evan or Ken. Yeah, yeah Ken, you bring a lot of joy to people, and I don't think you should you should be proud of that. Thanks. And yeah. you're also not the dumbest out of all of us. <laughs> yeah, Ken, that's always nice. I'm only the second, so. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> true. I'm so excited for Evan and Big Ranch to take this. My dad actually told me that the other day. Uh, I don't know why, but it was, you know, I was just like freaking kind of down in the dumps. I'm like, God, I don't want to like edit this video. You know, I just had a lot going on and felt like shit. And he was saying like how he thinks how it's crazy because, you know, like I wanted to be a chiropractor when I grew up and all that. And then he was saying, like, what I've, you know, all of us, but, you know, you, what, yeah. what we've done now, but even just if you individualize each, each and every one of us, he was like, I think you have done a lot better for the world than you would have as even a chiropractor and like a whole, Impressed. cause like you look at how many people you 
uh, impact each and every week and like, you know, bring joy to. So that's something that all of us really, you know, not to toot our own horn and, and any creator, you know, cause if you're bringing joy and, uh, laughter or whatever, just giving someone something to take their mind away from, you know, real life for a short bit of time just to get away. I think it, you're doing a, you know, a yeah. service to yeah. the world and a, a positive service, I think. Damn, that's like yeah, a, really agree. a hell of a compliment. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a really nice compliment, I thought. And I think, like, uh, let's say just back in the day, I you know, when someone would be like, I'm in the hospital and um, your guys' videos are getting me through the day, those ones are pretty cut and dry. You're like, yeah, if I was in the hospital, I'd be stoked, and that makes me the most stoked. But I used to just be like, when people are like, You're, you guys know, have no idea how much your videos mean to me. I'm like, dude, they're just like, you know, we're just vlogging. Like, you know, I still very entertaining, but we're just like making videos. Like glad you like them. No, but people but, love it. But now, now that we, you know, we've been putting blood, sweat and tears into these things and they're, they're full blown productions. And when people say that, that's still my favorite comments by far. Yeah. People are like, dude, you actually like helped me through hard times. I won't get into it, but I like yeah. for real. Yeah. That is like the best part of our, my job. At least yeah. I'll speak for myself. Yeah, but, I agree. I mean, to be able to help someone that is like their parents are are fighting or they're, you know, they're sick or their sister's sick or anything. Take your mind off it for a yeah. little bit, you know. And I never want, you know, people need to focus on reality too, but uh, it's yeah, the most flattering to, thing. Same with this podcast. So like people say like, oh, like, like this just made my day of work go so much yeah, even that. faster, you know, or whatever. But you for know? some reason I wasn't so good at uh, really bringing that home before but now i'm like i i love doing this because yeah. of that after he told me that compliment i was like god you know because i didn't want to go and like freaking edit and and you know whatever that day but i was like god i gotta just go and do this because i was thinking like there's so many people that wanna you know are like waiting on this you know and they're relying on this to not obviously it's not a life or death thing but it's just gonna give them a little bit of joy I was like, yeah, you know, I thought about that, and then I just freaking, you know, went and did it. Charging. Gave me, gave me a little bit of a pep in my step. I was talking to a, a couple kids and their dad today, and they were like, yeah, every single Thursday we sit down on the couch as a family yeah, a and lot. watch the video, and and a lot of people tell us that, and I was like, <laughs> what happens if we post it late? And they're like, oh, we just like sit on Instagram and just constantly refresh until <laughs> until a new video wow. pops up. But I, I was just like, man. So many families guys sit down at seven o'clock and be like, all right, let's see how on it they were this week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that is cool. That is really cool. And it fires me up reading the comments, especially after like, after we do something that's like kind of out there, but like turned out to be really funny. Like uh, the boat ramp bit in the last video, like just reading all of the comments. Cause like doing things like that is like, it's, it's uncomfortable. And it's like you're putting intimidating. Yourself, it's intimidating. You're putting yourself out there, and it could either be like really funny or really not. And it's kind of just like your attitude in the moment, and then like editing it and how it all comes together mm -hmm. afterwards. It's really cool to see like just a little bit of like a creative idea like that that we think is funny, and then like the world like that was their favorite part of yeah. the entire video, yeah. and they, it's received. And and there's so many positive comments on it. Like that's the shit that just like fires me up to like mm -hmm. continue to want to like come up with ideas like that. Yeah. And then like go out and do it even though they're uncomfortable in the moment. Well, that's the the best part is like the execution is the hardest part, but also, you know, like at the end of the day that that idea is like like many of our ideas is pretty simple, but it's like going out and doing it. Bringing the cameras, bringing the people, bringing the hype, bringing the confidence. I think it's also just committing to it. Like, Commit, yeah, exactly. That's like, bringing the commitment, bringing the uh creativity when you're editing. Um, bringing yeah, the, there's uh, a lot of pieces brain that power. gotta fall mm -hmm. together, and, and uh, yeah, and I, I think a lot of people do understand that. But oh man, I agree. Like you brought that bit to life. We walked out of there, and they're like, "Yeah, it was that was fun." I mean, um, people were mad, happy, sad, uh, mad. But we only had one pissed off yeah. person. Yeah, that was, which, that was amazing. Though. Which in God, a sense, she added so much to that. She yeah, I was just gonna say, she kind of made it, yeah. dude. So good. But but how, how this all started is like Ken. You and your your character and your character development and your reactions and just like the overall dynamic between uh, each member of the group adds so much value and entertainment to like people's lives that need it in oh, that moment, 100%. you know? So if you're, you know, oh, yeah, so sick of this or that, 
I get that, but like at the end of the day, we're just entertainers <laughs> and, uh, yeah. you know, you, we, you provide a lot of entertainment yeah. to these people. Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah. I think we really heated them up with that last bit. <laughs> I, that was nice of you, but we, we didn't even get a thank you. I don't even think I've watched that. I haven't. Like, I, actually, I don't know if I ever had. I come like, across I that in my it. camera roll, especially the one where like Jake's wrapping his waist up. Like that's a screen grab of it. <laughs> I like don't even watch it just because it's like, well, <laughs> this is. It's kind of savage. Dude, I forgot about that. That just sparked it off of yeah, too stupid to uh, talk yeah. to. That's so funny. An iconic line. Yeah. So iconic. I was out to breakfast this morning with Greta, and we're sitting there, and this guy comes up to me and goes, uh, hey, what's what's life wide open? Hmm. He's on my back. And then Greta was wearing, like, the girl's life wide oh, open nice. shirt. The daisy cool. one? Yep. Nice. And uh, I was like, oh, it's, it's uh, just, like, my slogan with – me and my friends have a YouTube channel and it's like our, our slogan that we put on merch and everything. And he was like, Oh, cool, cool. And like started to ask me about like the YouTube channel and was like super just like not inquisitive, but like, like just wanted to like know more. Like I could tell he like actually like cared and was genuine. And he was like, Oh yeah, I'm friends with like the dude, perfect guys. And like, oh, it was wow. just like a, like a kind of like an instant re yeah. Interest. Yeah. And so we had a couple, couple, um, um, you know, Cups of coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's standing there. And, and then they needed a pamper after that. <laughs> I about to shit their pants. <laughs> oh, we're talking about YouTube. And he's asking me like all these questions about YouTube and asking him like about you guys. And then like, I don't know, probably talk for like 10, 15 minutes. It, it was like a really, it was a good conversation that was just like sparked off of like asking about like life wide open. And then, um, he was like, yeah, like, uh, my friend over here is a pastor and, uh, oh, did I say that right? Pastor. 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 It's a pastor. I, th- I think I fucked that yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, let me, let I don't, what was he? That. Was he a, yeah, a, a field of grass? Or yeah, was yeah, he yeah. a preacher? <laughs> let me rephrase that. He was like, so he was like, yeah, my friend over here is a pastor um, at a local church. And uh, like, I'm, I'm pretty involved. What? No, I <laughs> just said leave that in that first yeah, part. Know, <laughs> You're just, not getting that cut. Yeah. And, I, was, uh, I was thinking the same thing. Third smartest. <laughs> Pasture. Second. I'm putting you at third after that. No, one. no, no. <laughs> second. <laughs> anyway, he he was like uh, talking about how his sister passed away from cancer a couple years ago. And he was like, ever since then, I've tried to be better about seeing people and getting to know them and, and ask, ask wow. them a little bit more about their life and if they're, they're struggling and if I can help in any way. Wow. And, uh, you know, he was like pretty religious, but he was like, is there anything I can pray for you about? Wow. And I've never had somebody just like, like a random person that I've talked to for five, 10 minutes and then like ask, can I pray? F- like, can I, can I pray uh, for anything in your life that like isn't going well? And I was like, oh man, wow. uh, I, I'll be honest. Like my neck isn't very good. Uh, like I got x-rayed last week and like I sprained my neck. Uh, so that's, that's, I've been struggling with that lately. And, and Greta um, was like, yeah, my grandpa is not doing well. And uh, he was just like, well, I, I, I'd i love to just pray for you guys. And he like literally like put his hand on like my wow. shoulder and was like, I want to pray for you right now. And like, God, you know, you, you made him uh, help his neck. Like if you can, like help his neck feel better right now. Like I, like, I felt my neck like like instantly like feel better like i was really just, dude i was like feeling better it was just like such a moment powerful. yeah like it was wow. so powerful, powerful. Just we're just sitting there coffee healing. and this guy like became my best friend in 10 minutes and then started praying over me and was like praying for Greta's grandpa and it was, it was like quite possibly like the most wholesome moment wow i've ever had like spiritually like that with uh-huh. like a like a random person and then he just like was like by the way man Love your car. Keep doing what you're doing. I know it's a grind. I know it's it's hard. You have bad days, but like you mean a lot to a lot of people. Wow. And uh, like just you knew all the right things to say. Dude, yeah, not, it not was crazy. Like, obviously, and then, it was genuine, but and then just like walked away. Man, that's like, crazy. I was like, what? A cr- oh, I feel better about you know myself. The, the, the stress of of everything that we deal with, you know, because he was like, I I get that it's not easy, and the world probably just sees it as like fun. Like he was like saying that too. I was like, dude, they, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he was like. You know, I get that you're you're not feeling good right now, and you're probably like, man, if if he was literally like, I'd tell you to get a new job, but I know that's not even in the cards. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, one hundred percent. I just got to deal with it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he was like, said all the right things, and then just like walked away. And I was literally just sitting there with Greta, like, wow, that was 
that was such a moment. Like wow. I was, she was like, what do you, like, how, how are you feeling? Right? Like, what, what do you think of that? Because I'm not like super religious. And I was going to ask that. Be like, Greta what? knows that. And uh, I was like, that was such a moment. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's I don't even crazy. know what to say right now. And he just walked away. I was like, now that's a guy making the world a better place. hundred percent. Holy smoke. Wow. Kind of yeah. got like chills thinking about it. I mean, like, yeah. you just don't get moments like that. It, uh, thousands of people you interact with just on a daily basis, whether it's like literally someone, wa you wave at someone when you drive by, like not many times do you get someone who seems that invested and just means well oh, just that genuine that genuine yeah yeah it's yeah wild i mean that's even that's like exactly how i feel or anyone maybe feels like when i go and visit my home church yeah like i've said this before but if you want to like ever feel good or feel nice or or have someone genuinely be interested in you or what you're doing or make you feel better it's always at church it just always is there's no two ways around it but like it's crazy that that he was able to like you know, if you came about it that. the wrong way, you'd be like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah if it was, yeah, like, yeah, imposing and, yeah. like, pushy. Yeah, absolutely. But it felt, like, you know, very genuine, and and it wasn't just, like, walking up to a stranger and, like, saying that immediately. Yeah. It, but it, we had, like, a connection talking about this or that, yeah. you know, for a little bit. who knows? Bit. Maybe he wouldn't have done that if he didn't feel a connection. So, yeah. like, there's that, too. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was just, it, it, it was a cool moment. Yeah, no You know, it, it was, it felt, felt good. You know, Mike, it's interesting you say like, yeah, you go to church and you feel this connection with the people and stuff like that, which is something that I kind of like know about you. You're probably the most church going. I mean, granted, Ken and I basically became friends at church when we were younger, but as I've grown older, although I still, you know, believe in God and all that stuff, it's interesting where I've found that I've like find God or whatever in a different place. Like I don't really go to church anymore, which to some may be a bad thing, but even just yesterday I was driving, listening to the new Zach Bryan album and I was just content driving to go see my friends and looking at the fields and all that. And I was like, man, you know, life is good. I see the, you know, workings and like, I, I can just see how the beauty of life and things. And I always say that my church is, coming over the hill to my house and you can see the lake and I'm like that is where I gain like this feeling from God or the universe or whatever or especially in the mountains and you talked about how you feel a connection with people there's something beautiful about being like with uh, our friend snowmobiling or dirt biking or something like that that you know those people if you broke your leg right now they will do everything they can to help you and you're sitting there eating the Snickers like looking at the mountains that are insanely beautiful and you know that like everybody is just there to be together. And that's where I've kind of like found that. <clears throat> yeah. Like it's yeah. interesting that you yeah, can it's also a, It's a find very it. similar um, feeling that you get with like the people that you're with at church. It's it's like a similar passion. Exactly. And I think, I think what church gives a lot of people is like a purpose. Mm -hmm. Like they, they look at, you know, their God as as he gives them purpose in life. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most important thing for anyone. Yeah. To, to make it through, you know, the hardship that everyone goes through, if you can find like that purpose and mm -hmm. and for a lot of people it's it's like God and their religion, then it's like who is anyone to like knock them for for, for that, what exactly. they believe in or something like that, you know, there's like a lot of religions out there, but like everyone kind of looks at their religion to get the same thing out of it. Yeah. I guess. And Probably a community too. Yeah. You know, a lot of people aren't blessed with such a large group of friends or a sport that takes them to something. But I mean, yeah, if you want to meet like-minded people, sometimes it can be there, you know, and people to support you. Yeah. It's it's easy to be optimistic when things are going well, of course. Mm -hmm. But that's what like, uh, I'm an extremely optimistic person, but I think sometimes maybe that even, I confuse myself with that. Like uh, at the end, the purpose and the appreciation, like I just am like, really i'm way more appreciative about a, a situation than i am anything else almost yeah. always or i guess i should say optimistic but and that really helped like i mean just driving around the lakes like we i mean we've been driving around these roads for like kind of you're saying the beauty of the earth and it, it really comes down to like i won't get too in depth with it but it comes down to like if you're if you believe in creation or if you believe in evolution there's other things to believe in 
that's kind of a cut and dry thing. So if you don't believe in creation, it's kind of hard to appreciate. But um, yeah, I mean, we drive around these lakes for the last 20 years and I still am just like, just gorgeous, just beautiful. How could you beat it? How could you beat it? Yeah. These animals, our bodies, our systems, everything is created, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. And no matter what yeah, I agree. you believe, it's just like, damn, it's there. Yeah. You well, know? yeah, either way, just, take it in for yeah. sure. Take it in and meet people. I mean, that's why, yeah, it, uh, at the end of the day, the only thing that sucks about what we do is like how busy we are. I, I honestly, I can't see myself ever stopping to talk to someone and genuinely sound interested for, let's say, 20 minutes because I have, don't have the time. And that's really selfish. But that's interesting because you know, you're a certified chiller. I yeah, feel like you I know. sit down and talk to anyone. Well, yeah, but they, they, the conversations are shallow compared to what you experience. But yeah, I maybe mean, that maybe I'm just that's scared. Pretty exceptional. Yeah. Though, but. Yeah. There's something to be said about people that can just go up and strike a conversation with anyone. You know, I'm sure he was like, oh, that I had my I would like had my Lambo out front. Mm -hmm. And it was just like me there. I'm sure he was like oh, that kid's car. I'd like to maybe know what he does or who he is. And he went up and he saw, oh, let me ask him about his T-shirt. Sure. Yeah. Saw a cool slogan. Yeah. You yeah. Know, something that makes sense yeah and that, like you like look for an in and then you strike up from there which is i think you know probably like the hardest part about like just starting a conversation is like finding like common grounds you guys seen the uh tiktoks i just got on it about like they're like telepastors or whatever but they're like the televised like giant stadium uh, church pastors yeah and it's hilarious it, whatever you think about whatever those guys are scamming a system <laughs> for sure. What are they doing? Bro. I'll I'll pull one up here, but in like this case, yeah, the guy preaches in like literally a Fargo Dome sized stadium every week, but he has like four private jets. And his thing will be like Are you talking I, about like Joel Osteen? Uh he's wow. a, Among a many. different guy, yeah. But he'll be like, the reason I need a jet is so I can spread the word farther and faster. And then he already has three. And he's like, I am asking you, the congregation, to pull together $25 million so I can get a new golf so I can get a new Gulfstream G8. He says that? Yeah, shit like that. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> and since it's a religion, it's all tax deductible. There's no thing. Lives for free, lives in like a thirty thousand square foot mansion. It's fucked up. Wow. Yeah, it is weird to think about <clears throat> certain churches being more businesses. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. For like public service. Yeah, Kenneth Copeland. Holy. Oh, oh yeah, I've guy. seen a video no, of this, this guy. This guy straight up is evil. Yeah, he's, he's an evil even person. got the look. Well, he's got yeah, a 2,000 I mean. square foot he house. Why do you say that? Uh, just from what I've seen about him. He described flying commercial as a metal tube filled with demons. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I've seen that. That's why he has to have a $65 million PJ. Yeah. What? I've seen, like, and just videos where he just, like, he the certain things he says, it just look, it's it's almost not even like he's lying. He just looks devious. How do you get into something like this? I don't know. Um, look at him, dude. Look at that face. You know, addiction. You know, he, he starts in one way, realizes that there's money to be made, and then he becomes... So addicted to it and so addicted to the like evil crazy, side. like yeah. over the top. Like it's one thing to like understand you gotta be comfortable, but yeah, yeah, but I like mean. that is so exuberant. Yeah, right. to be, that guy's being just that a, he's getting this money through donations. He's just a glorified salesman. That's all he is. He's getting yeah. it through donations. Does he have his own yeah. private airport there? Oh yeah. Oh my like it. Wow. Oh, a what state near fuck? a private airport. Okay. Oh. Hey, owned Ken. by the church. Owned by the church. Oh uh, yeah, of wow. course. It's all written off like for but That's the, the other crazy part is that they, he's making all that money and then he writes everything off like again 100% tax deductible really? because it's a religion. I just like I can't believe people can't are like giving him more money. I know. Like yeah. I I think he should live in a nice place, but I don't think he needs a that big What is that? That was like 30,000 square feet? Right. So yeah. then like, so then you got to wonder like are the people that are in a sense following him at least looking up to him and his whatever he's preaching are they that dense like shouldn't that <laughs> like, shouldn't that money for that house be going to like starving children you, in africa because yeah and like, all these other things like because after a certain point i mean dude i just remember that's why like on a realistic note like in a small town that we started in a really old church and then we 
finally, finally, finally moved to a new church, built it. It was pretty small. And then it's like, after we talk about it in services after like years and years and years, okay, we get to add on. We get, we're going to add on like the, the second, that whatever. That makes sense. It's for people to congregate. Yes. Yeah. You're and, not and putting the I'm pastor up in a $10 million I'm not joking. lake house. The whole church, because they're very transparent about it, which I love. The whole church costs like $2.2 million. It's huge. I mean, now as in like the youth, the youth center, whatever, all this stuff. That's it. So, like, think how many churches you could build with thirty, what five million dollars? What religion is this guy, or why does he have such a following? I yeah, what is his religion? That's what I'm wondering like, about what the people. is he? Because obviously, there's certain. Oh yeah, I don't know the dom- denomination, but I I know for a fact I think he claims to be Christian. I guess non, oh, yeah, non-denominational oh. evangelical in yeah. Texas. Yeah, uh, I did see he preaches the prosperity gospel, which means God wants you to be rich. Huh. And What's the reason the, he's so rich is because he has done so much for God. Interesting. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah this video. This video. Watch this, dude. Send the link to me. Oh. Man, he's mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he's getting the, grilled this by this what lady. I've seen. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. <laughs> yeah. We wrestle not. With flesh the and smiles? Blood. That's I mean. This guy. This is just like. When people are like pressed and they get so angry, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't help his cause. For but it, it doesn't Listen, help either, though. Woman. Not defending him, but yeah, like I'm sure you got ran up on, and it's like yeah. you're kind of already getting set at this disadvantage. And you're like, fuck. And you already know kind of how they're setting you up. And then it's like, then yeah, you're kind of getting frustrated because you're trying to like clarify, but they're, you know. Yeah. But I'm not defending them, but yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, no, he must be obvious to. Get, get crowds together like that. He must be extremely yeah, good at powerful motivating people or like rallying people in marketing. Some way. Or, yeah, yeah. Marketing, <laughs> marketing genius. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Or maybe he's really good at preaching. I guess we yeah. should maybe listen to him. Yeah, maybe. I guess she didn't speak on it just from that. But true. Hmm. It does All seem right. a little bit exuberant. All right. Though. What a yeah. what a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was, yeah. What a roller coaster. I boys. mean, we went Love through it. so much. We found out who was dumb, who was smart. We dove deep into a story that Ken did not want us to do. <laughs> we got soft. We talked about religion, which we don't really ever do. Um, and uh, you guys are my best friends. Appreciate you guys. Good listening. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Love you, Mike. Good stuff. Even good stuff. harder than yeah, me. Mike. Go say hi to your neighbors. <laughs> yeah, Mike. I'm sure all. you do love us, Mike. <laughs> Oh, you are stupid, you guys. stupid friends. <laughs> hey, these are my buddies. They're hey, guys, slow, even though you guys are all good idiots, guys. I love you. Can you imagine? I'm just like, yeah, these are my buddies. I'm all smarter than them. But Unreal. Cool still. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Subscribe. How'd it go? It popped up on the screen. Stinkiest hinder and cormorant. <laughs> well, we already knew that. We didn't need a test to tell us. What's your prediction? <laughs> well, I know it's good if the camera's out. It's either really good or really bad. <laughs> Equally as likely. <laughs> I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that it's been a long day, and I'm going to say 92. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh! What? What the fuck? This thing is, it has to be broken. No offense. <laughs> no way. Evan's the smartest sea boy, man. Holy shit. Followed up by Mike. What a plot twist. <laughs> the test is reversed. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Are we sure that this is the right way? Like, are we sure that a uh, higher score is good? <laughs> Damn, dude. Respect. Sorry for doubting you. What can I say, Benny? so fucking funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs>